Today's report, 696 new cases of COVID-19. Uh, more cases than we want to see. 16% of them, 114 cases, are kids under 18 years old, continuing to be a larger and larger piece. Um, some school districts that either are opening or have opened, uh, some concerning numbers today, three school-age kids in Barron County, three school-age kids in Callaway County, nine school-age kids in Warren County today alone. That's 23 school-age kids in Warren County testing positive in the last four days alone. Again, we hope people out there will make good decisions, especially those in charge of our youth. This is a difficult time, uh, but we need to be wise. We need to make sure that we make decisions based on, um, on science, on, on what's in the best interest of those we serve, and, and not just based on complaints. Um, when we start making decisions based on that, on, on comments on Facebook, uh, then you very quickly uh, let the, 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 the small group of, of folks that are upset know how to steer your decision making. And that can't be uh, how we do this. We will not make it through as intact as we should if that's the case. So um, if you're in an area where you think you've made a, a wrong decision, and there's always time to make the right one, especially as, as these numbers pile up. Total number of cases now since <clears throat> March the 6th, 45,230. And that's pretty incredible. It shows you how quickly this thing has spread from something that didn't even exist uh, first in this world that we know of, then on this continent, or then in this state. Um, but this is our reality until we get either um, a, a really effective treatment or a vaccine. Uh, so this is our battle. We are writing our own history. How well we deal with it is up to us. Let's rise to the occasion, rise to the challenge. We've now conducted over 839,454 tests. Here's our good news of the day. Our COVID positivity rate dropped below 5% again. Again, it's 4.64%. Now that's one of the lowest numbers we've had in the past four or so weeks. It's still too high. And notice it bounced below four to above four yesterday. So we're gonna uh, expect to see it rise and fall. Um, I don't think it will stay under five uh, over the next couple days. But again, we were going up towards six. And so this is one positive sign that's out there. But it can't be the sign we're looking for. It has to be a work in progress. To get it down below 4.6, below 4, that's where we need to be going. So I hope it at least gives people a little extra energy to say it is possible that we better our situation when it comes to this virus. 606 Kentuckians currently hospitalized because of COVID-19. 146 in the ICU, 96 on a ventilator. So let's pray uh, for them. Seven new additional deaths um, due to COVID-19. And again, remember these have to go through a committee. I can tell you that sadly, we're gonna be reporting uh, a bunch more in the coming days. They include a 50-year-old man from Jefferson County. 50, whew. 79-year-old woman from Greenup, 83-year-old man from Whitley, 89-year-old woman from Boone, 81-year-old woman from Graves, 91-year-old woman from Oldham, and an 89-year-old man from Jefferson County. Uh, new cases by county. Jefferson, 136. Listen to this next one. This is how things, when we say, oh, but our county doesn't have uh, a lot of cases. Remember, <laughs> it's a region. Our counties are tiny in Kentucky. We've got 120 of them for 4.4 uh, uh, plus million people. Todd County, 48. How quickly it can happen, how quickly it can grow. Warren County, 47. Christian County, 41. Madison, 30. Fayette, 27. Scott, 26. Bullet, 23. Lewis, last couple days uh, in the double digits, I believe, 21. Davis, 18. Jackson also has been making this list higher than we'd like to see, 11. Uh, Boone, 10. Kenton, 10. Rowan County, 10. And then we have nine cases in. Barron, Hardin, Hopkins, Monroe, Oldham, and Pulaski. And again, remember, no, no area is immune. Uh, Green has another six uh, on here, but the entire list will be posted uh, online.